Greetings. This is Universal Jones from thecodeconnection.org. Thecodeconnection.org is a catalyst of constructive information. We are aiming to make it easy for you to find live constructive programming, find constructive programs that are going on in your area, and a platform for you to share constructive content. So if you're someone who's seeking more information on how to implement code, come to thecodeconnection.org. Also, if you're a person who's seeking a platform to share your attempts at producing justice, thecodeconnection.org is a place for you. So go to the site, sign up for the newsletter, join the form. Don't be a spectator, get engaged. Thecodeconnection.org, thecodeconnection.org, thecodeconnection.org. Or it has been time. Dr. Chris, uh, for instance, most of me and you were both familiar with her work. She talks about the importance of understanding how racism has affected our thoughts, speech, actions, perception, and emotional response. And um, and a lot of that deals with how we interpret its symbols. And I don't want to get too deep, but um, there's a there's a thing called memes or memetics, um, which talks about how information is transported from one person to another, and it's different than what we see on social media when we talk about memes or we talk about, you know, you know, um, black people be like or, you know, niggas be like this. Like, those are very, um, you know, retarded versions of what memes really are, but symbols are important. They, they hold a place. However, it's only important based on the understanding of what those symbols truly are, and I don't think at this point in time the the masses of non-white black people understand what the Confederate flag means, um, or any other flag for that matter. And and I think the evidence in that is on the response that we see. Now, I'm assuming that you've been on Facebook or you have some social media account, um, like many other people who may hear this recording. And just today alone, July 19th, I have seen several videos of black people um, getting into physical altercations with uh, white people over the Confederate flag. Now, I believe something down in Charleston, South Carolina is going on, um, but there's been several videos of them fighting white folks, and I'm not saying that they shouldn't. Um, I'm not saying that they should either, but I've seen several videos just today alone of black people getting into physical altercations over a Confederate flag. Now, my my thought is how constructive is those acts? How constructive are those actions? I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I know when I see that, um, it was, and part of this could be my conditioning. My mm-hmm. first thought is this is not that constructive. <laughs> it's like okay, we're gonna beat up, we're gonna beat up on these white people over a flag, but we should have been beating up on them a long time ago for everything else. <laughs> but I I think that. Uh, I think that it's almost it's almost become a distraction, but at the same time, a part of me feels like it's somewhat helpful because at least we're doing something. We're not just sitting idle, um, you know, act, with with our you know hands on our laps and or in our in our, our palms in our hands, wondering mm-hmm. what the hell is going on and how are we going to fend for our children. So, um, but at the same, I mean, so I have I have conflicting thoughts on it. Um, like I said, some movement is better than no movement, but the way we move is a constructive, and that's that's my mentality. Yeah. And I know that's not a lot of people's mentality on the issue. So that's kind of my thoughts. I don't know. Yeah.